Oh, look at them. Come on. Wow. Oh, which one do I shoot first, Daddy? Get them there. Hmm. <clears throat> not a. Well, I did not get that on film. Three came in, three exploded. Boy, howdy. We're in a, me and G Wagon are in a little tiny field. Big old wall of trees all around us, and it's loud as hell when you shoot. Good lord. We are setting up the old panel blind up against this hill. Easy peasy, and it's sweet. Oh shit, here they come from the back. This GoPro is just absolutely, I'm finally, hopefully, got it running. Hopefully, I got some of the first shots. We've been annihilating them, had two or three goes. I mean, yikes. Oh, yep. yep. Oh, nice. I was, I let him just a lot too much. Just well, a lot too much. <laughs> yeah, it was. Right when I pulled the trigger, I was like, yeah, right. I don't know if I got any of the first clips on camera. Hopefully, we got into them pretty good. Tore them up. Me and old G Wagon's out here. Yellow. Not turkey season anymore. <laughs> you go. Uh, found a pigeon feed yesterday. Luckily, we're out here today. Oh. Oh. A good group. Uh. Oh, they see us. What's your face? <laughs> <laughs> my face paint. Why didn't you bring the face paint? Oh, what, they're coming. What did Aaron say that one time? When they're coming in your face, close your eyes. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Yep. Oh, nice. Oh, where are you going? You coming. Thank you. Feeling? You're coming. Yeah, one for good luck. I did not shoot very good on that one. I messed on my first shot, and then I started catching up. <laughs> and <laughs> when they're coming in your face, hold your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, tip his, of the day. <laughs> his tip of the day is they're just sometimes, you know, they're kind of half-assed. The other times, you he you just ask yourself, who are you? Who are you? That Where did you a, come that from? That was the best one for sure. <laughs> That's, yeah, that was at the. Was it at the pit field? I think it was. Must have been. Yeah, it was. <laughs> the muddy, the muddy day. No, it was earlier that year. Oh. Speaking of mud, Lord, this season was the muddiest season that I've ever experienced here in Kansas, and. I don't know. I'd almost have the mud again if the season was going to be the same with the birds. Yeah, that was a bit ridiculous. It was such a good season. One of the best. Really muddy. Had to uh, really kiss a lot of farmer ass. Oh, on the right single. You're right. All you. Hold still. Nice. <laughs> kind of did for you. <laughs> and what I mean by kissing ass is. Uh, just letting them know, calling them a bunch, telling them, hey, it's muddy. This is where the tracks are going to be. Are you good with this? Can we pull in the field over here? Can we do this? Can we do that? We don't want to make you mad. We don't want to harm your property. And I have to say the, the farmers gave us a lot of leniency, man. <laughs> they did. We were upfront and honest about every rut that we were going to leave before it happened. And they were... They understood. They understood we had a job to do. And oh yeah, geez, they just sit their wings and go. Ooh. See, these ones look like babies. Probably. Had a little white winger action mm -hmm. there. Get Two. down in there. 
Send it? Yep. Got a long fella. He's hurt. Go down, dude. Oh, he's done. Got three of the four. <sighs> he might come back. Where'd my buddies go? Oh, yeah. Where did my pals go? It must be over here. Oh, nice shot. Is that a... That's a flock. Look at that. Dang. Juvie Snowy's. Juvie Rossi's. <laughs> Heard him peeping. Oh. I can't wait to hear that sound for the first time. It was cool at the very end in South Dakota. It was just straight Rossi's. Ugh. You might only so see cool. 500 today. Right. But they're Everyone black and gray. Suicide. Not even... Not even like a bunch. I mean, yeah, it was juvious. Don't get me wrong. But it was just i don't know you'd see 500 birds in a day they seen 2,000 decoys right Thanks. speaking oh, of which here they come oh goodness look at this flock we'll get back to that in a minute yeah, shit, like shit on i hope they we can get them real tight so we can dump into them i haven't got to do that in a while oh look at them come on Wow. Oh, which one do I shoot first, Daddy? Get him there. Oh, see, it's so hard shooting on that stuff. What are you doing? You gonna spin back around here? <clears throat> Lordy. I knew if I would have dumped it, I wouldn't have hit nothing. I shot pretty good on that one. Well, that was cool. That was neat. That was real neat. Back to what I was saying, speaking of which, uh, we have dates here at Sand Hill um, available November through mid-February and then G-Wagon that's what we we're chatting about just now is uh, he runs conservation Missouri South Dakota uh, Missouri's getting filled up but still good room there South, Missouri has plenty of room but it is filling up uh, South Dakota has two dates left really and that's it South Dakota is mainly pit blinds uh, all pit blinds it is all pit blinds. Yeah, there's a uh, one permanent spread, and then since we're just running one spread up there this year, uh, oh. Truman and Nick will be running it, and I will be scouting for feeds. Ooh, gonna bust some hot feeds. Mm -hmm. Oh, geez. Yep. Kill him. Oh. <laughs> Send in a long one for <laughs> just for giggles. <laughs> that one landed. I was he's, like, wow. That's a, landed for now. that's a baby, baby bird. Not the brightest of them all. Just the good ones. That one there. Yeah, these have to be yeah, out somewhere. front again. What a shame. <laughs> <laughs> There's a single gonna. He's big. He just has to barely move his wings to go He's anywhere. A monster. You better kill him. Okay. Oh god. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Any band on that one? Nope. <laughs> you already check it. <laughs> uh, oh, here is the setup. Per usual. Got the old call them antique full bodies now because they don't make these bad boys anymore. These are wing king decoys i know i've talked about them before i wish they made them they don't make them anymore there used to be uh wing king and soar no more those were the two brands that made full body pigeon decoys and unfortunately they both went out of business or sold or whatever i wish i know tangle free make tangle free makes them right makes them. and final approach i believe and they're not bad they come with the round bases for motion and honestly you don't really need those it's kind of it yeah it's just a little too much work for pigeon hunting you lose the stakes and they're metal and they're black and you lose them in the field and now someone has a flat tire or something coming from the left <laughs> I just watched them. Oh, did you? But uh, we're hunting, I would say, what, like four or five miles from town ish? Probably. probably. Yeah. Four or five miles out of town. 
uh, this field this field is planted in grass farmer told me so yesterday um, but there's a railroad track that you all have seen me hunt against the railroad tracks it's about a mile away from me three-quarter mile and uh, this is the first plowed worked field to become huntable on this section here pretty cool I haven't been shot on this section probably almost ever to be honest because there's a big gas plant not plant but gas supplier deal that owns most of the section and they don't allow any hunting but a new guy owns this little piece and it makes it real cool oh Yep. Oh my God, right in your face. That one was inches away from the barrel. God, he was so close I couldn't pull the trigger. I can jam. Did it? <laughs> yeah. God, he was, dude, I could have. These two. Yep. I'll take the back. You take them both. Oh, you son of a. You were hard to catch up to. <laughs> <laughs> He was dipping and diving on me. That was pretty. Except they turned right into us. <laughs> yeah. They got too close. <laughs> whoa, whoa, I was like, oh, Gerald, you're over here working on the right <laughs> side. <laughs> that was sweet. He came right, right from my noggin. Oh, get him. No trespassers. All these birds are extremely young. Just hatched probably this spring. And I would say this is one of their first flights out of town to feed in the mornings. I have scouted pig, huh? Oh, singlet? We got a singlet dive bombing us here. Oh. That was cool. This guy's walking, he needs some help. We are also offering whitetail hunting first season. Sand Hill Flyaway is doing whitetail here in Kansas. If you drew a Kansas tag for unit 15 or six, right? Uh, I think it's, I'll have to double check. But. Two out front, 15 or six to my knowledge. Um, get a hold of us if you're looking for a good old Kansas destination whitetail hunting experience. Um, 15 and six. 15 and six. Um, it'll be the same deal as waterfowl, full lodging, mills, five, uh, days. five days. Um, if you're on a, if you're on a good buck, you can probably stay an extra day or two to try to get the job done. We'll work with you for sure. It being our first year, we want, um, the limited availability of clients that are going to come to have uh, a really good personal experience and, uh, want to come back and, and bring, uh, someone special with them next time so there there is that and then um turkey 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 next uh spring turkey g wagon and i will be doing that um extremely personal experience three days of hunting um kansas is still one bird um hopefully they raise it up to two here before too many more years uh population's really coming back this season was really good. A lot of good birds, a lot of good jakes for next year. Ton of jakes. Ton of jakes. Tell, give them your rundown on your Turk. Seen more jakes this year than, the last two years have been really good. Last year was good. It was the first year I'd say like I noticed a, a real difference from the shortage. <clears throat> but a lot of it was, I think a lot of them, predators and relocating of birds. I think too many birds are taken out of here to be continued. <laughs> we got birds coming back. Two good birds. Oh god. Jeez. Looking like a widgeon. <laughs> Jeez. Get him there. Uh, 
Oh, they always go your way. Oh, nice shot. Only got one. Or is that a Nice! Oh, that is an echo. Mm -hmm. That sounds weird. We've got an echo bouncing back at us. Sounds like someone's shooting over there. Woo, that was pretty. Uh, but yeah, turkey. We we're very excited for it. Uh, we're only going to have two, maybe three people in at a time at camp. Probably two. I'll probably keep it at two unless it's like a, a, group a father deal. son or a father, chi a father child together like we'll hunt them together right but other than that it's gonna be one-on-one one-on-one -on -one. One -on -one. lots and lots of birds we killed a bunch of birds this year just playing around literally yeah you, you and I left a lot on the table Gerald is the turkey damn whisperer his his hunting style is aggressive and, and you don't you don't sit too long and spotting and stalking is his deal he loves to drive around find a bird get permission or already have permission and uh, stock it. You did a lot of your killing midday. Most of it. I bet you. I bet you ninety percent was after eleven o'clock. Which means um, it's not just a. It's usually not just a wham bam first light. You know, you're in camp for ten minutes type of deal. You get to hunt most of the day, chase some birds, and it's just a really good experience. You get to, you get to see our landscape and scout around and drive around constantly, and um, we'll have a cooking camp and. And have really good dinners and and clean your bird for you. Are you cleaning birds? Yeah, cleaning yeah, birds. Keep it out. Do whatever you want. You want it mounted, and I have to do all that. Break everything down. But uh, really reasonably priced. If you're interested in any of that, SanoFlyways.com. Fill out the booking form. If you're interested in Missouri or South Dakota conservation hunting and or turkey and or deer, uh, get a hold of G Wagon. Um, you can still get a hold of me, and I'll pass you along. 2G wagon. You can still fill out the booking form, and I'll still pass you along to we'll still have to get If they get a hold of me, they'll need to fill out the booking form for the right. info anyways. But. The booking form is kind of the our phone book dictionary, if you per se. But uh, hopefully, we kill something else here. <laughs> oh God. Me. You killed that thing. Oh no, they're gonna do it one more. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Nope. I completely biffed that all oh, well, up. Here comes. Definitely not. <laughs> oh. When the gun's in motion, <laughs> don't stop the man. I should have learned my lesson a long time ago. <laughs> I'll just hold on one more. See you later. Uh oh. Oh, ground pounder. <laughs> Call you George St. Pierre. George St. Pierre. <laughs> Ground and pound St. Pierre. I love it. There's been that a guy. bunch of that stuff on my feed, like a bunch of UFC stuff. Man, it's popping right now again because of that. kind of stuck in a rabbit hole. Oh. Yeah. Uh oh, they get up. Yeah. That's more than I thought was there. Yeah. There's a little water hole down yonder in the field, little mud hole, it looks like. And we're fighting live birds per usual. Uh, they like that water hole, and it's really close to some houses, so I didn't hunt down there. Widgeon, baby. Tear him oh, up! Oh, yeah! They just freaking fell like rocks. Oh, that was nasty. You go. You go. <laughs> There's a big group over there. Yeah, there is. Damn. Load up, load up. Well, we might make it over here. That wasn't us shooting, I promise. Hello. Oh, three more new ones. Oh, we're gonna pull them off the live feed. I wanna shoot these up top. Uh, he is tagged and hurting. He went across the road. Oh, he's coming back. Oh. Oh, he just dove, yep. My mine's falling out on the other side of the tree. Or oh, nope, he's coming might back. be coming back. I don't think he's gonna make it here. Nope. He's hurting. Mr. Wounded? Mm-hmm. There you go. Yep. 
Yeah, rolling them. Oh, big flock's up again. <laughs> we got a bucket of shells, a bunch of randomness going on. These are the, what are these, the Estate, the Handicap, seven and a half. The Handicap have a little more. Handicap? Yeah, don't they say HQ or Handy? Yeah. HD, yeah. They have a little more thumper to them. What are, oh, jeez. Get in there, 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 get in there. Good? Yep. Fall out. I got two. For sure. <laughs> it's so much going on. Oh, one fell out by the trees. Yep. Can you imagine Aaron here right now? Oh, he'd just be cheesing ear to ear. Bad. He's two. Can I show you the picture of his poison ivy? Yes, his face swollen yeah, up. Yeah, Cody had it bad too. Oh, he's got, dude, his whole back is covered in it. There's two. Yep. Oh my God. Chills. Yeah. Oh yeah. There you go. Yep. Oh. But, same. But, yeah. Bleep. Time. Thump. One shot. One till. Two more, Two more. Really giving it up. Jeez. Shame. All these trees around us must trap in all the noise. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. We got the dead eye on now, Jack. Good group. Wow. The the shot brought them to us. We shot and they literally they turned. Now they're confused. It's like a flashbang. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Mommy, where am I? Yeah. Nice. Oh, that was high. Ah, oh, giving them all of them. That guy's hurt though. Going down by the wood pile. On the wood pile. <laughs> that was cool. We got a runner. You better get him. I want to wait for this one to come back. Oh, we got a flyer. That was cool. I was guessing we shoot 60 last night. Wonder what we're gonna be at. Probably pretty close. Get over here. Oh, uh -huh. gave you the cold shoulder. Get yep. Oh, you little bastard. I thought I was going to dust both of them in the first shot. I so too. Oh, he's losing feathers and stuff. Where'd that one come from? Mangling? Oh, it's probably the adult. <laughs> okay. I biffed that all up. You got one. Thought I was going to get me a double. Crazy how early these birds fly. It is 740 and we haven't shot for about 10 plus minutes, 15 minutes. Good looking blue bar, young birds, man. All these are really young birds. Good looking blue check. No bands. I haven't seen a pigeon band in a long time. We don't get as uh, as many pigeon hunts as I used to. I don't know if it's just because I've annihilated them over the last handful of years, <laughs> the population speaking, um, or if they're just not breeding as much, or if there's a lot more pest control going on in town. All these birds are coming from downtown on uh, city rooftops, abandoned buildings, you name it, but from the heart of town. These are not farm birds. Like I said, they're earlier, they're traveling four to five miles to come out here, which is really cool. That's an older bird. No band yet again, feral pigeon. He's way out here. That was a long shooter. First pass? Yep. Okay. Nice! Oh, didn't go 20. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that was sweet. Good leads, boys. Good leads. Look, firing back up. Here we go. Yeah. Why not? 
bucket load. Bucket load of pitch. There we are, 70 on the dot. Not a bad one. Look at that grizz. He's really cool. Got a couple cool birds, a couple black ones. Uh, one really white one. This guy, I didn't show you him. Good looking bird. Really white. Woo! <laughs> we are back at the lodge. Uh, I haven't showed you all the lodge or the duck shack in a while. This is our secondary building, the duck shack. I'm not going to go in there right now. A lot of you have seen it. But it has uh, full bedrooms, two baths. So we have the duck shack option. Here is the outdoor area, cooking area, grilling area of the lodge. Y'all have not been in here a while. Ooh, it smells really good in here. I brought y'all in here. I want to show you something. Uh, everybody that's new to the channel, check it out. A lot of you were here with Gerald and I when we built this place. Uh, built it from the ground up. The building was here, but we did all of the interior work. Say no flyways, baby. We have added to the flock yet again. It is looking juicy. But I really want to show you guys this bird. You have not seen this bird. This bird was shot on uh, one of Gerald's hunts last season. Of extremely, extremely late season bird. Uh, specs had just opened. I'm guessing it was around the very, very end of January or the beginning of February. Look at this beautiful hybrid bird. Look how dark. And then look how light. Beautiful bird. Beautiful bird, G-Wagon. Old Kurt mounted him up, put him on an epic little pedestal. The lodge is increasingly filling up. Seems like day by day almost with more mounts. This is uh, one of my special birds from last season, killed on one of my hunts. This is, I don't believe, I've done some research. See the caramel belly? Caramel stripes, uh-huh, really light colored. Got a hold of a biologist and he does not think it's leucistic. He does not think it's a blonde speck. He believes it to be, which I don't know the scientific verbiage here, but long story short, just hang with me here. When there's two fetuses in the womb, basically, and when that happens, um, kind of twins per se, but um, when that happens, there's always going to be a strong one and a weak one. Usually the weak one will have some crazy color traits uh, involving a lot lighter feathering, white colors, just not dark plumage. And he believes that the strong one in the womb died and this one survived. So it got good nourishment and it has all these crazy colors, which makes it, he says, even more special than a leucistic or a blonde speck. Pretty darn cool. Uh, lots to learn in waterfowl. If y'all are interested, like I said earlier, y'all, if you guys want to come experience Kansas, waterfowl hunting, deer hunting, turkey, we are your one-stop shop for it all now. Uh, not this season, but next we will start dove hunts in September as well. And those dove hunts will consist of uh, at least one to two hunts a day to get your limit. Uh, the limit is 15 birds uh, per day. Um, and we'll also throw in a teal hunt and or pigeon hunt if available. Like I said, fill out the booking form, sandhillflyways.com. If you're looking for a corporate trip to bring all your work pals on, if you're looking for a bachelor party trip, if you're looking for a place for just you and your dad, you and your brother, you and your buddy, you and your wife to come experience, um, very, very casual stay, guys. We all get along. We are in here with you all day and night, gabbing, shooting the crap, and having a good time at duck camp. Thank you to all of our uh, returning clients coming back this year. Appreciate you all and can't wait to see you. But if you're interested, we are uh, a two-man minimum to book all the way up to however many you want to bring that we have availability for. Thank you guys for being here. Uh, lots of videos to come. I still have some more pigeon hunts to upload. I have a bunch of duck and goose hunting videos that you have not seen from this past season. Stay tuned. I need to stop being lazy and actually edit and upload. But until next time.